Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Today we got a lot of stuff to do. We're going to create our second expedition center so that we can unlock some of the new dinosaurs and hopefully be able to get this second park up and going as well as start getting our first park super freaking amazing. I hope you guys all enjoy it. We do have enough money to go ahead and plop this expedition center down. We just need to find a good spot for... Well, <laughs> there we go. There it is. We're not even going to mess around today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going at it. So once we have this second expedition center, we can then unlock some of the new... Exped well, I can't actually look at the expedition map here. It's so strange that while it's all the same park, your funds are different on each island, and it's basically like starting over. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it. But regardless, I am having a lot of fun with this particular game, especially once we can actually start getting more of the different variants and genetics for each of the dinosaurs. Like, this guy looks so much cooler than our first Ceratosaurus, and I definitely want to get a bunch more in the next zoo. So I'm actually... Not zoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> park, ladies and gentlemen. It's a park, okay? Ah, Yeah, we definitely need to get some money up in here. We are making $58,000 a minute, which isn't too bad. Our other area is doing quite a bit better. But we need... Oh, there we go. Nailed it. So now, view expedition map. We should have unlocked some new ones. There we go. So we've got the Corythosaurus Ankylosaurus. And there. Then we've got Ankylosaurus there. I'm just looking for the new ones. So it looks like we've unlocked the Ankylosaurus and the Corythiosaurus. Yes. Okay, interesting. So let's go ahead and send it out to... Well, we'll see if we can get this one done. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the previous island and send out another expedition there. Okay, so I really want to start getting our carnivores up in this particular area. So I want to start making one of these enclosures. And I feel like this will be a good one because it's already got all the walkways pretty much done. So I kind of just need to figure out exactly how I want to do this. I think I want to do it like this. So we'll go like that. Actually, where does this need to snap for it to work? Ooh, you know what? That might work splendidly. I do want it to be kind of close to the actual walkway. So we'll go like that. Uh, make sure it's nice and straight. First and foremost. Bam! Nailed it. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you guys do find yourselves enjoying this series and you want to see more, don't forget to share support and smash that like button. It really, really helps out, especially with a new series. Okay, so that goes out like that. So if we start here and go this way, I think to like... I want to make sure it's nice and square, you know? I mean, I could go like that. Is that going to work? No, it's slightly not right. There we go. That works. That'll be a good enclosure. So yeah, this is going to be full of freaking carnivores. We need to get some water in here. we got to do some decorating. I'm going to go ahead and get everything fenced in, and then we'll be back. Oh boy. This isn't good. Fence is broken. Dinosaur. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, we should probably stop that, huh? Oh, geez, he is he is just going ham. Okay, add task. Uh, yeah, trank this one. Oh, my God, are we gonna... Run! What are you doing? That whole, if it doesn't... If you don't move, it can't see you thing is a lie. You need to run! Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not... Oh, God, no! Oh, that's so brutal. That's right. Shoot, get him! Ah, oh, he had a snack and then took a nap. Oh, man. All right, so I'm glad I came to the island. Jesus. All right, do we have a ranger team to fix this here? Add task. There we go. Responding to repair request. Oh, man. So... <laughs> two people down. This is good, but it can always be better. Oh, Seal man. This contract. 
Well, that was probably exciting for everybody else. Look, they're going to get to walk past the sleeping Ceratosaurus. Comfort. Eight. Oh, yeah, you better run. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this transported back into the enclosure. We might very well Heading to collect the asset. want to turn this to an electric fence. I wonder if we can we can do that. There we go. So fences. There we go. Electrified. Replace. Yes. There we go. Nailed it. All right, we should be good to go now. So it's going to turn all of this. No power. Are you serious? Do there really need to be junction boxes for all of that? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Oi, now that that's all cleaned up, I got to say I'm really not a fan of having to have two of everything, and I'm really not going to be a fan of having to have five of everything as we unlock. Uh-oh. He's getting frisky. You know what? I think we need a different feeder. Oh. No. No. Bad. Bad. Very bad. You are a bad Chrysaratosaurus. Son of a... Ugh. Hurry up. Oh, my God. Okay, we just can't keep this guy happy. So I think we need another feeder in there. I think that's the issue. Because the live bait feeder doesn't seem to be doing the trick. So let's just go ahead and get this feeder in here. Oh, it's 200. Now I'm not going to have enough money to make what I need to make. Uh, darn it, game. Why do you hate me so? All right, so now we need to transfer this guy once again back into here. Man, that thing can just murder those walls so easy. That doesn't even make any sense. So anyways, I need to... So now that we've got the two expedition centers, we now need to have two fossil research things to be able to even look at the fossils. That is just kind of obnoxious, honestly. Um, but I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I'm just going to save up my money and get another fossil center. So I need now another $40,000. I can make another fossil center. Is there enough power for everything? There is just enough power. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, ranger station. You guys need to fix the Repair crap out of that. Resupply that. Hopefully, this carnivore feeder will keep people from being eaten. Oh, my God. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this other fossil research area created. And then we're going to head back to the other island and hopefully be able to research all the new fossils. <laughs> and is he gonna chase the guy in the jeep i think we're good all right so i gotta figure out why it's so on grassland not enough or is it too much grassland so let's see here they're normally solitary but can get some small their territory can comprise of good sized grassland with a small area of forest cover so i think it just doesn't have the offer just came our way. don't let it sit too long Release a Ceratosaurus with rapid metabolism modification. Interesting. Okay, that's quite a bit of money for that. So it looks like it might just need more grassland. No, no shrubs. Just clear out everything. There we go. Let's see if we can get him a little bit happier, you know? He wants more grassland with a little bit of... A little bit of other stuff. So there we go. Grassland's better. Forest is good. Social comfort is going up. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So now we shouldn't have them escaping quite as much. Hopefully. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of these shrubs here. Maybe just turn everything into grassland. I don't know if the shrubs cause issues or not. Grassland, forest. Doesn't seem to. So we can put shrubs in here so it's not so boring looking. There we go. Get some shrubbery. Get me a shrubbery. Put it over there next to that one. 76%, 77, perfect. Still going up. Grassland is good. All right, so they need slightly larger enclosures. So what we might do is extend this out a little bit. So that should be good. But now we've almost got enough money for... There it is. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Operations. One fossil center, please. Now, can we put you... No. Okay. Don't even know why I was hoping. Can we put you here? No. Might be able to... I could probably finagle it up. Oh. Oh, right there. That'll work. 
right next to the other place? Yeah, perfect. Go ahead and connect. Is this all just crappy? I can't tell because it's always... It's perpetually the same time of day. <laughs> and just having this dusk all the time is a little annoying, honestly. But otherwise, there's probably... I wonder if there's a setting to change the time of day. I don't know why it's just always dusk here. It's a little weird. So, once that's built, we can finally research some new dinosaurs. Ah, finally! We can do it. So we've got two Ankylosaurus fossils and two Corythiosaurus fossils. We're going to go ahead and learn all of these or extract all the DNA. We still have to get up to 50%, but I figured I'd show off some of this stuff. We got an Angiosperm fossil, which we can sell for 40000 And then we've got skin impressions, no dinosaur DNA to extract. We got platinum here, $360,000 for that. Not too bad, eh? Got no oh. And, oh, that's Edmontosaurus. That's why I was like, what? It's 76%. Oh, my God. All right. So we're going to go ahead and learn all these. Of course, it's storming. But um, what we are going to do is we need more dinosaurs up in here. We need them. So I'm going to try and start finishing this a little bit. I want some more meat eaters. I want some carnivores, ladies and gentlemen. We need them. Oh, no. Our first Ceratosaurus is down. He just died out of nowhere. I don't even know why. He wasn't sick or anything. I was literally just going around and trying to check on dinosaurs and stuff like that. And of course, I didn't check that one. I'm hoping... I wonder if he didn't have enough grassland. I feel like there's enough grassland in here. Because they never tried to escape or anything. He must have just died of old age. I don't know. So now we definitely need some more. So what I'm thinking is, to be safe, we definitely need to finish this enclosure. We need we need all the meat eaters. Although, like, how long is it going to be before we can unlock anything else? So let's go here. Oh, release this bad boy. There we go. Of course we can't do anything yet. I wonder how long it's going to be before we actually unlock the T-Rex. That's what I really want. I mean, everybody wants the T-Rex. Let's be real, right? Who doesn't want a T-Rex? Nice. So that's almost done. We can go ahead and expedition more things. So it requires more expedition centers. So it's just crazy what we have to do. How do I unlock more dig teams as well? Requires more. Is there any just around the world? Oh, there we go. What's out here? A Velociraptor? <gasps> Velociraptors. A, a Chungingosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Hyangosaurus, Dilophosaurus, hell yeah. Oh man, it helps if you check out the rest of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, I was just checking out North America. Forgot about Russia. Okay, so we're in the final stages of trying to get this all set up in here. I've got water, grassland, I do want to put a little bit of trees and stuff in here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I think I'm going to put some in this corner right here. And then probably maybe right here just a little bit along this little edge there. This is a little bit of a, a dip right there that I kind of want to cover up. And then can we just get like a little bit of tree there? I just kind of want like splotches of trees throughout just to kind of make it look like it's not too empty, you know? I think that looks good. And then we're going to put some shrubbery around the water areas. And all in all, I think that's looking pretty good for an enclosure. Now we should have some more Velociraptor things. Ooh, baby. It is time to make our first Velociraptor. Very exciting. We're going to modify the genome if we can. So we've got Alpine and Arid. We're going to go ahead and make one of each just to see what they look like. Now, resiliences, I don't know if we really, power outage, of course there would be a power outage. I don't know if it's really worth, lifespan goes up to 54, we lose a lot of viability. I don't think we should probably mess around with that. We can mess around with the color without really doing too much. $775,000, sweet baby beluga whale. We need it though. So we're gonna go ahead and incubate another one of these bad boys. And we're going to change the color of this one 
to the alpine, or no, to the arid color and see what that looks like. Go ahead and go back. Hatch that bad boy. And cross your fingers. Hopefully they both survive. But now, this is coming along really good. We, we crashed during the last recording. I don't know what's going on. Just having a little bit of computer issues today. I don't know if it's the game or if it's me, but something's going on. So, we actually lo we lost the Ceratosaurus. We've been losing a couple dinos in here, but they're all looking pretty happy and comfortable right now. All things are good. Our income per hour is, or per minute, is a little bit less than before. But once we get those Velociraptors and another Ceratosaurus, I think we will be in the money. And then we got to figure out where we're going to put all through here. Ooh, there we go. Go to fossils. These should be some new ones. Nice. So we got the, uh, the Hyangosaurus. That's, we got two of those. And then whatever this, Osbium. Okay, we'll go ahead and sell that. Extract DNA. We're going to go ahead and actually try and get some more of the Raptor. Velociraptor DNA. We'll go ahead and go to this location since we haven't checked that out yet. Then obviously we need the Dilophosaurus as well. Oh, baby. It's time. We did lose one of the Velociraptors. We got another one incubating now. And uh, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. I'm excited. Are you being sneaky? Good job on those attendance stats. <laughs> yeah, nice boy. She's beautiful. Skin toughness 2.0. Trait genes. Nice. These raptors have a very Look, nice paddock get as a bad well. Rap because people don't understand that they are and always will be alpha predators. Our Hell job yeah, they is are. To help them. The raptors understand that we are as well. I can't, I just want a huge pack. So they definitely need a good social life, good population. So I want to get a big pack. Oh, oh, are you going to hunt? Oh, baby. Woo. That's crazy. Got that goat. Nice. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and check out the information. Velociraptors are carnivorous small theropods who will eat from any source of meat. They form the largest of the small theropod social group, although still small in number, and don't tolerate too many dinosaurs from other species nearby. Velociraptors need a reasonable area of grassland as well as some forest to thrive. So this paddock here is pretty much perfect for them. And I just can't believe we just murdered that goat right off the bat. So I think we got a little bit of money to go ahead and get a couple of these bad boys going. Incubate. Did I just... Did I incubate the wrong thing in here? No, Velociraptor and Velociraptor. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We need a good family. Release an Ankylosaurus with an I aggressive instinct modification. That sounds dangerous. Okay. Well, all things are going pretty good. How much did we earn? Ooh, 213,000 for one. Nice. We definitely need more of those because... Where, where did it even go? It's gone. It's being sneaky. Oh. Nope, he killed the other goat. Poor goat. They did do such a good job with the models of these guys. Oh, now where are you going, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to get another goat. Oh, he's going in for the kill. So he's stalking it. Got to come from the from the behind. Oh, he's like a little cow. He's going to pounce. Oh, the poor goat's like, No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Love it. I don't know why it says there's not enough water here. There is plenty of water. Especially now that it's raining. At least I feel like that's enough water. I don't know. We might have to adjust that just a little bit. How are we doing here? This one should be good to go. Hopefully both of these make it. All right, so here's our Velociraptor with the arid pattern, I think. Ooh. I don't know how you did it. Just that you did. Aren't so you thanks, pretty? Sir. Go hang out. Oh, it's going for the other goat. You see it there in the background? Yeah, boy. You gonna go hang out with your friend? Oh, look at that. Because they do like to be in packs, so I wonder if they're gonna hang out in packs like that. That would be so cool. Nope. He said, screw this. I'm gonna go kill a goat. Oh, they totally look like they can get through that fence. Oh, all of our park guests are going to end up dying. This is this is going to be terrible. All right, so this one's at 74%. Should make it. Also, I do believe 
We don't have any more fossils. I'm a liar. Okay, so we had a dead dinosaur. I was slightly concerned, okay, cool, that it was actually going to end up being one of my raptors because I did just create a ceratosaurus there. But it was just one of our herbivores. Did I not release this? Okay, I didn't release it yet. That's why. All right, so let's go ahead and release this bad boy. So this is one of the cool ones that we've got over in the other era island as well. Sometimes random. But what we need to do is I don't know if it's going to be okay with the raptors. And I want to make a huge raptor pack. What did we do? We unlocked a new island. What? What? All right. So sandbox, build the ultimate facility without having to budget. No contracts or missions. No need to pay attention to division, reputation, or tasks. Keep your progress. Use the dinosaurs, buildings, and upgrades you have unlocked from Las Cinco Muertes. Eh? Nice. That's kind of cool. Interesting. So is that something you guys want to see? Do you want to see a sandbox mode where we don't have to worry about all this? Or do you want to continue seeing the, the story kind of pan out, I suppose? Oh, are you going for one of my raptors? I swear to God. Do not do it. They are expensive. Don't do it. I will kill you. Don't do it. At least they're running. They're quick. Ah, <laughs> got that ass. All right. So anyways, what we need to do is I want to put this guy in here. And then we're going to hatch another one of those as well. Our profit per minute is $312,000. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a sandbox mode. But I do really want to make a massive raptor army right now. I think we've got... How many do we have in there right now? We've got four. Four right now. I'm going to try and get their genome up to 100%. I'm going to make a massive raptor army and see what happens. See if we can even keep them contained. Oh, nice. So that's cool. Uh, Isla Nublar is actually... I should have known that. I'm like, that name awfully sounds familiar. Uh, but I figured, you know what? This episode is actually kind of going on long. And to do the raptor project, we need some time. So we're going to go ahead and actually check out this island. See how big it is. See how much room we actually have. Because if we have a ton of room, it might behoove us to really build here. Oh, yeah. 120 miles west of My Costa Rica. The dinosaurs began here at Isla Nublar. This island is where I came to first question everything I knew, everything I held dear. Not because that what happened here was impossible. Obviously, it wasn't. I'd say we can't live in the past, but Ooh. that's kind of what we do, isn't it? Facility has I unlimited guess if we can budget. Bring back nice. Extinct animals. Why not bring back it looks like we box. actually have day and night cycles. You can access a variety of different gameplay settings from sandbox settings and the options menu, including weather, disease, and time of day. Very cool. Use all your currently available assets on Isola Nublar. Return to the operations on Las Cinco Muertas to unlock more. So this is something we can progress towards throughout. So how large is this island? Where, where can we build on? It's obviously quite a bit larger than everything. It's not. It is not larger than everything else. Well... Poo. It's actually quite small still. That's what she said. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to at least check out this particular area. This definitely got some potential. It's flat. I think we could do a lot here. It is It is definitely bigger. But um, yeah, so maybe we'll work on this as we go. Since there is an unlimited budget here, we can kind of get like super fancy with it. And do we have to, like, obviously we still have to hatch everything. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we'll figure everything out with that. But I hope you guys are all enjoying the series so far. If you're excited about seeing a massive raptor pack in Jurassic World Evolution, don't forget to subscribe. That will be the next video. So keep an eye out for it on the channel. It's going to prove to be pretty exciting, I think. We're either going to somehow manage to maintain them or we're going to have a massive breach and everything's going to die. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to share support and smash that like button. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.